Hey guys, we are here today with episode number 13 of Truck History. On this episode, we are walking you through Peterbilt's lengthy love affair with its beloved cab over engine models, starting all the way back in 1941 with the release of the company's first cab over engine model. Let's jump right in. Before we dive in, it is important to note that during this time, Peterbilt distinguished model designations by starting with a 2 for single drive rear axle models and a 3 for dual drive rear axle models. Additionally, many of the trucks released during this time were produced in both conventional and cab over variants and shared the same model name. However, in this video, we will be focusing on the history of Peterbilt's cab over engine models. For more Peterbilt history, please watch our History of the Square Hood Pete, as well as History of Peterbilt Motors, located on our channel. After being founded in 1939, Peterbilt Motors Company immediately began producing their Model 260 and Model 334 trucks, both of which were wildly successful. Only two years later in 1941, Peterbilt released not only their Model 270 conventional truck, but also their Model 270 cab over engine truck, which is where our story really begins. The Model 270 on-highway truck was the company's follow-up to their original Model 260, as well as their first truck available as a cab-over engine. The 270 is the truck that originally introduced Peterbilt's iconic bubble-nose cab-over look. However, despite the successful release of this new Model 270 cab-over, regular Peterbilt production was interrupted shortly thereafter by World War II. After the war, Peterbilt continued to crank out classic custom cab-overs in addition to their conventional models. With that being said, 1949 saw the release of Peterbilt's Model 280 and 350 conventional and cab over trucks. The Model 280 and 350 conventionals were known for their distinctive iron nose look with an elongated grill and unique cycle style front fenders that gave them a classic feel with a competitive edge. However, Peterbilt's Model 280 and 350 cab over counterparts were virtually indistinguishable from one another and shared many similarities with their predecessor, the Model 270, including the bubble nose nickname and design. Moving forward into the new decade, Peterbilt continued to grow rapidly and so did its reputation. As an increasingly iconic brand, Peterbilt knew they needed an equally eye-catching emblem to set them apart, thus the birth of the Peterbilt's classic red oval logo in 1953. This is the very same badge that has graced the front of every Peterbilt truck since. The next year, in 1954, Peterbilt released their next dynamic duo with the 281 and 351 cab over and conventional models. With the release of the Model 351, Peterbilt began its longest production run in company history. Although the 281 and 351 conventional narrow or needle nose model was far more prevalent, the 281 and 351 cab over trucks sported the first panoramic safety cab. The basic yet durable design of the panoramic safety cab would eventually pave the way for many models to come. In 1958, Peterbilt Motors was acquired by Packard Inc. This big change within the company would lead Peterbilt into even bigger changes as the 50s came to a close. Finishing off the decade with a bang, in 1959, the Unilite Tilt Cab Model 282 and 352 was introduced as the company's new flagship cab over truck. The innovative 90 degree tilt cab design paired with the freshly restyled lightweight aluminum cab made the 352 a huge hit with truckers because of its easy accessibility and classic look. The new 352 cab over trucks were available in 54 to 110 inch bumper to back of cab lengths. After celebrating 10 years of continued success with their flagship Unilite cab over, Peterbilt decided it was time to freshen up their legendary 352 truck. Peterbilt decided to have a little fun with this refresh and held an in-house competition to determine a new, updated namesake for the increasingly iconic truck. In 1969, the 352 was formally nicknamed the Pacemaker by the contestant winning Peterbilt staff member. The newly named Pacemaker truck underwent various refinements over its lifespan including new door handle options and interior updates. Peterbilt wasn't done updating their ever-popular 352 pacemaker, and in 1975, they introduced the 352H model. The H in 352H stood for high cab, and the cab itself sat four inches taller than its predecessor. This 352H truck was intended for use of larger engines and sported a 1,512 
square inch radiator as opposed to the 1050 square inch radiator found on most trucks of the time. The 352H was available in 86 inch and 110 inch bumper to back of cab lengths as well as the very rare 63 inch bumper to back of cab. Skipping ahead to the next decade, the company opened a new plant in Denton, Texas in 1980 in hopes to ramp up their manufacturing abilities. This brand new manufacturing facility was put to good use in the next year in 1981 when Peterbilt rolled out the revolutionary Model 362 to replace the aging Model 352 as the company's flagship cab over truck. The Model 362 was newly restyled with a more spacious and aerodynamically advanced cab, as well as a larger radiator and updated interior. The signature design of the 362 was a large one-piece windshield with three wipers. However, a two-part windshield with two wipers remained an option. The 362 was available in cab sizes from 54 to 110 inch bumper to back of cab lengths similar to the previous 352 model, but with setback front axle and tandem steer options available. A special 8x8 362 was also available as well as the later 362E or enhanced truck which had a slightly setback front axle to allow for longer springs. The release of this fan favorite Model 362 further increased the popularity of cab over engine tractors and led Peterbilt down a new and improved path for aerodynamics. Several years later, Peterbilt released their most aerodynamic cab over model in 1988, the extremely unique 372. Mimicking the Model 350 cab over of the 1950s, the nose piece of the cab on the 372 flipped forward, allowing easy access for maintenance. Designed for high efficiency and driver comfort, the 372 truck proved that 10 plus miles per gallon can be achieved with a class 8 truck. The 372 truck has the distinction of being the most unusual Peterbilt design, which was often likened to the looks of a football helmet or a motorhome. Additionally, the Model 372 was given the sinister nickname of Darth Vader due to its ominous appearance. Unfortunately, the 372 was not nearly as prosperous as its preceding 362 model and was only in production for five years, from 1988 until 1993. Progressing through the late 1980s and early 1990s, cabovers became increasingly less popular as many length restrictions and laws were being lifted and changed. The market saw a gradual shift to conventional long-nose square hood trucks, which eventually caused Peterbilt to make some adjustments in their model lineup. Because of this market shift, the very last Peterbilt cab over, a setback axle model 362 truck built for oil field use, rolled off the production line in August of 2005. Although Peterbilt's beloved cab overs are no longer in production, countless of these old school classic cabbies can still be found in the show truck circuit to this day. These pretty peats still remain a popular pick for restoration and customization and will live on forever in the hearts of outlaw truckers around the globe. After all, ain't no better feeling than Peter Mobilin. That brings you up to date with the history of Peterbilt cab overs. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. If you want to learn even more history on Peterbilt, check out our history of the square hood Pete as well as our complete history of Peterbilt Motors Company on our YouTube channel. For further fun facts about your favorite Peter Mobiles, be sure to watch our various 10 things you didn't know about videos featuring the famous Peterbilt 359, 379, and 389 trucks. Lastly, if you've enjoyed this truck history series, please consider watching our newest video series, Diesel History. More diesel history videos are coming, so stay tuned to our channel for more info. We've compiled truck history, diesel history, and our 10 things you didn't know about series into one convenient place at jackschromeshow.com. Merch is coming soon for all of our series, so if you'd like to help support the channel, please check it out. And we currently have Jack's Chrome Shop shirts on jackschromeshop.com, so please check those out as well. This show is made possible by our online Chrome Shop, Jack's Chrome. Head on over to our website at jackschromeshop.com and check out our wide variety of headlights, air cleaner accessories, grills, fenders, detail products, Jack's Chrome Shop exclusive posters, apparel, and so much more. Save stacks when you shop at Jack's and use promo code YouTube at checkout to save 15% off your order. Don't forget to tune into our channel on Monday for our podcast highlights and check out the live show on Chrome and Steel Radio YouTube and Facebook live at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesdays. Links to the podcast and everything we mentioned will be in the description box. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. And remember, guys, if your rig don't shine, you don't know Jack.